Hello everyone, welcome back to Gatroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 is having controller is not working issue which for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you have to do with a simple restart. So for this we just need to go over here, click on this particular icon, go over here and do a restart. But keep in mind when you're doing the restart, we have to exit the steam as well. Closing over here is not exiting the steam, but just go over here in the steam, go for exit. Once after that you exit, you have to restart your PC. Now open the steam once again and it's going to take a bit of time to get loaded up. You have to log in back if it's asked or else you have to just log in, just get into the steam and once after that try launching the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to disable or enable steam input. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here you can go to the controller and there are options like over here use default settings. You can see there are three options disable steam input, use default setting, enable steam input. You can set either to enable steam input, try launch the game. If enable steam input is not working, try with the disable steam input and try launch the game. You can try with any one of the thing, one might be working out. You can try vice versa and you can try which one is going to work for you. You can keep this. If anything work, you can keep the same. If enable stream input work for you, you can keep this. If disabled stream input work for you, you can keep this or else you can move to the next step. Next step is nothing but what you need to do is we just need to disconnect all the peripherals which means if you're having the issue just disconnect everything once after that just launch the game and keep in mind when you're launching the game you only have to use the controller not keyboard or mouse. Just launch the game. After game is successfully launched, you can see the differences. I don't know how this is related, but this did work it for many users. We can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to launch the game using only controller. So that is also very important. You have to launch the game and you have to use only controller for doing this and it work it. So you should not be using, like I said, you should not be using mouse or keyboard, any other thing. It work it for many users. You can try this out as well. And also you have to remove the unwanted things. For example, unwanted peripherals, like if it's already connected, joystick is already, not joystick, if Logitech wheels are connected or multiple monitors are connected and filled in your USB, you have to remove everything and once after that, try launch the game as well. So this did work out for many users so you can try this out. Next one we have to launch the game in the big picture mode. So for big picture mode we have to go over here, over here in this icon, click on this one. So that will take us to big picture mode. And once you log into the big picture mode, you can see this once you log into the big picture mode, here the game is just click on this one and launch the game. If this is, you can most probably when you launch the game picture, big picture mode this will be working fine. If it's not, we have to go over here, click on how to exit the big picture mode, just go over here in the steam, click on the power and go over here big picture mode. And once after that, it will take you to the steam back once again. And from here, you can go to the library and you can go over here in the Baldur's gate and you can try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to turn off the steam overlay. So just go over here, right click over here and go to the properties. Make sure this is turned off. If it is turned on, you have to turn this off and launch the game. And also you can try with closing all the overlay applications. It is very important that we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the start, right click over here and go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are many things running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the RAM, which is causing for crashing issue. When you try to launch games like Baldur's Gate, because this game is also launching the same simultaneously, many apps are running in the background, which is causing the issue. So you have to delete, I mean, you have to end the task for these, especially Discord, MSA, Afterburner, Rebartune, etc. And all these things are really irritatable. So you just need to go over here, select this one and go for end the task. Once you're done with this one, you can go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but you can use a wired controller. So I don't know how instead of using wireless you can use a wired controller and it worked for many users and you can try this out. And last and the least one is all about again we have to install the Xbox accessory app. So we need to go over here in the Microsoft store. If you are in the Microsoft store just go to the store like this and from the store you have to download and install Microsoft uh, install Xbox accessories. So just go over here and search for Xbox accessories app. Most probably for me, it is already installed. You can see this, it's already installed. But for those who are watching this, if not installed, you have to install it. And once after that, you have to open this and you have to update your controller using this. And it worked for many, so you can try this out. 
so these are the possible workaround which can be done when it comes to how to fix baldus gate 3 is having issue with the controller and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye